G'day, how are you going? So today we're going to be doing a look as to see is your pump metric or imperial? Now the first dead giveaway is if it's got tags on the back and that's just on this part here uh, it'll show something like that. If it's a yellow tag it's it's generally it's, it's always a metric but it's metric on this side. Somebody could have bastardized it and put an imperial head on so just be wary for that. So that's your metric. Uh, your imperials are going to look anywhere from purple to red to brass. Uh, they're going to look something like some of these over here that gives you a vague idea. So if you have a look at this one here, well, so that's straight away, that's an imperial. Now, with the imperial, you're going to get two types. You're going to get a Whitworth thread so when i'm talking about the whitworth threads i'm talking about the part that screws into the piston that runs across here now this is what a piston looks like generally on the imperials the piston is going to be bronze uh, on metrics it's going to be cast iron now with the imperials there's two types of thread that are in this piston there's no way to tell from the stamps or the writing on the back there it's uh, it's always a thing of opening up the pump and actually having a look. So this one here, that's a national fine. That's what the national fine looks like there, as compared to the Whitworth, which is also an imperial, but uh, in in the US you would call this uh, national course. So when I sell the kits, you're going to get two types of imperial kits: Whitworth and national fine. So. Can see that's the national fine there and so that's the part that's and that back and forth so other things to look for is the gland you can see on this one here the glands nice and shiny that's because I've cleaned it up and everything it's a brass gland so this is a brass gland here and with the brass glands you're gonna get a couple of different types you're gonna get ones that are just sort of flat at the back there you're going to get ones that are, have an impression and then you're going to get ones that poke right into this part here these ones are the hardest to remove and a lot of people will break these wings by trying to remove them there's often scar battle scars on these guys people removing them and then damaging them breaking them and then needing a new one so uh, the, this one here generally take the whole head off take the shaft out and then use something large that's not going to foul that hole that sits around here and hammer it out from this side that's the best way to do it and it'll it'll push out quite nicely then what happens is it's, it's the rust in there that clamps on that anyway so with with these that's that's your two imperial main types and then you're going to get the metric metric will often look like this but they're not always they don't always have this but a mixture of this part rusting and building up and the head part building up as well generally these are always going to stick and being cast on they brittle so if you see one of these on yours most likely it's going to be a metric uh, sometimes if they broke the old uh, imperial one and they had to buy a new one they probably would have been issued with something like this so your pump could even be a hybrid of metric imperial or imperial and metric so make sure you you suss what's going on and uh, another way to check it is measure the shaft so if the shaft is 10 millimeters well then it's an, a metric at least on should be on both sides because then the gland will have a 10 mil hole through it and the piston's going to have the 10 mil thread on it now it's that close to confuse them because now the, the, the metric's going to look like that, but just with 10 mil instead of 3 8 which is 9.5 mil. Uh, so it's very hard to tell the difference between the, the Whitworth and the metric. So make sure you measure that correctly. Uh, that's about the most important part. Other things to look for are also going to be the valve screws. Uh, they're either going to be quarter inch or they're going to be six mil met metric so um, but that's only going to tell you if your head is sometimes with the metrics they even used uh, some of the old must have had some old stock in in bolts and stuff and they would have done that 
but more than likely uh, um, it, if all the nuts and bolts are in peril, it's going to be in peril. So just to give you like a rundown, so a billabong is generally always going to be in peril, but it could be Whitworth or National Fine. An Ajax could be Whitworth, National Fine or Metric. A Perry is going to be usually na National Fine, but I've seen them in, in Whitworth as well. DGM is going to be both Metric and Imperial. Senko is going to be Metric and Imperial. Davies and Davy will be probably more likely Metric. Gain is going to be Imperial for sure. Smith and Gluius Imperial. Southern Cross Metric and Imperial. If it doesn't have any name here or something like a sticker that says Burjax, more likely that's going to be Metric. Supreme is going to be Metric and Imperial. Power Max is going to be metric generally, but I have seen a couple of Imperials. Simmons is going to be metric or Imperial. Onga is going to be metric or Imperial. Coltara is generally going to be metric. Hope you find that helpful.